the uh, major heavyweights which are in news today. Idea is among the top nifty losers after the telecom regulator released recommendations on pricing of spectrum and this is of course for auctions that will place in this calendar year. Now the 700 megahertz reserve pricing has really disappointed the industry with industry saying that it's simply too high. CNBC TV 18 is learning the telecom companies are planning to write to the DOT of the Department of Telecom against these TRI recommendations. In fact, Kritika Saxena has been getting us those exclusive inputs. So let's get the details going. Kritika, what are you picking up? I mean, you know, it's obvious that uh, none of the telecom players would be okay with the pricing of the 700 megahertz band. That's the first time, remember, that 700 megahertz will be on offer. And I have confirmed players, uh, the telecom service providers, including uh, Airtel, uh, Idea, Vodafone, Transcommunications, uh, and even the smaller players like TTSL and Uninor have uh, expressed uh, their, uh, their displeasure about trial recommendation and there will be a formal letter that will be going to DOT by today evening or tomorrow morning. Now, the two key areas of contention, yes, there are several areas that they are unhappy about, but two areas that are non-negotiable for telecom operators and will make their operation unviable and will significantly increase the debt are, of course, the pricing. They've said that the pricing will, uh, they've in fact confirmed in the letter that none of the larger operators will be able to apply. So these are the small, smaller players pretty much. They've asked a cut of the 11,500 11, crore rupee of the 700 megahertz band of at least 40% to even make them applicable for bidding. And that's only the larger players that we are talking about. And it's not just 700, it'll be even the 800 megahertz band. Out of the 76.5 that is available, only 36.5 has been put on offer. So the telecom operators say that they need at least a larger amount to be able to expand their services. So they're asking for at least 55 megahertz to be put on offer out of the 800 megahertz band. A couple of other areas, yes, but those are general, uh, uh, you know, displeasures being expressed. But these two areas are something that telecom operators need to, be, to even be able to participate the 700 and 800 megahertz auctions. All right, Kritika, thank you for that update. We have